सो आई केम बैक टू द वर्कशॉप एंड हे हेलो गाइस दिस इज शुभम प्रतो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्किट डिशन इन ए अर्लियर वीडियो आई मेड एन आईओटी बेस्ड ह्यूमिडिटी एंड टेंपरेचर मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम बट व्हाट इफ वी डिप्लॉय दिस डिवाइस इनटू रिमोट लोकेशन वेयर इंटरनेट इज नॉट अवेलेबल टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी यूज लोरा इन आईओटी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ लोरा कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट लोरा विद नोडेम सी यूएसबी टू सिक्स and if you are using arduino no problem the process is same this is developed for for lora communication technology so don't skip the video watch till the end let's get started a shout out to priyanshu for buying me a coffee and if you want to support me then you can also buy me a coffee link is given in the description below by the way have you seen my previous video series on scar robot if not then go and watch the scar robot development series you can get the link in the description and the i button lora it stands for long range it is basically a wireless communication technique which uses radio modulation to generate the signals the signals can be generated by semtech lora trans receiver chips So in this video I am going to use a pair of Lora RS02 module which contains SX12780 chip from Semtech as this is the first time I am going to use the Lora board so the basic idea is to set up Lora transmitter and receiver with my node MCU and observe how they communicate and delay between the sending and receiving the message and the range the range state test is important because Lora is known for its long range communication as lora is used for long range communication you can send or receive very small amount of data chunks and lora is highly immune to avoid unnecessary interference and one more important thing that lora consumes very less amount of power while working when it comes to wireless communication one of the most important thing is using antenna lora ra02 module usually comes with micro strip patch antenna connectors but this type of antenna is not capable to provide long ranges so i removed the patch antenna connector from my module and connected some sma connector in the transmitter section i am using a rubber duck antenna having a gain of 5 dv and in the receiver circuit i am using a 3 dv gain spring type antenna loa comes with various frequency ranges in india the ism band is between 865 to 867 megahertz but 433 megahertz range is also used for indoor cases and local area so in this video i am using the lora ra02 module of 433 megahertz to 515 megahertz range but i will use 433 megahertz range for communication as lora is a trans receiver chip the circuit diagram of the transmitter and receiver section is same lora uses spi communication technique to communicate with microcontroller Here I am using Node MCU ESP8266, uh, but you can use any of the Arduino board with SPI communication capability. Lora requires 3.3 volt supply to work, so I am using a 3.3 volt voltage regulator to step down the voltage from 5 volt to 3.3 volt, and I will also use a capacitor to stable the voltage at the Lora power end. MISO pin of the Lora is connected to D6 pin of Node MCU. MOSI pin of LoRa is connected to D7 pin of non MCU. SCK pin is connected to D5. NSS or CS pin is connected to D8. Reset pin is connected to D4 and DIO0 or you can say the IRQ pin is connected to D1 of non MCU. I have connected a LED to D2 pin for indication of the sending and receiving signals. In the receiver circuit I have connected a relay with the output which is connected to D2 for driving the load later here is the code for lora transmitter and receiver as lora use spi communication so first i include the spi library and then i include the lora library i have also declared the pins for cs reset and irq up to the void setup part both the code for the transmitter and receiver are same in the loop part of the transmitter lora is start sending the data packets by using the function lora.begin packet and sending the data using lora.print function 
Here I am sending the value of the counter variable. After sending the data, the state of the output LED is changed. If the LED is on, it will go off and vice versa. By writing LoRa.int packet, I am ending the transmission process. Then I am increasing the value of the counter variable by 1 and giving a delay of 500 millisecond. Then again starting the same process. In the loop part of the receiver section, LoRa is receiving and printing the data on serial monitor using parse packet and LoRa.read function. And we also print the value of RSSI which stands for Received Signal Strength Indicator. Whenever LoRa received any data, it will change the state of the output LED. By visualizing the state of the LEDs on the both end, we can understand the LoRa modules are communicating. So I have made all the connections according to the circuit diagram and now we will go for the range test. I will keep the receiver in my workshop and we will go outside with the transmitter and we are using these two antennas this rubber duck antenna for the transmitter and here this spring type antenna is for the receiver which I will attach to a metal sheet outside of my workshop to get better range now I will attach it okay I have attached this to a metal sheet and now we will go to the outside and test the range of the LoRa communication. I have attached the receiver with the laptop to see the data in the serial monitor and I also have set up a camera here to record the data which is coming in the receiver and uh, the receiver will print in the serial monitor. And now I will start my transmitter here and I will plug this in my power bank to power up the transmitter section. So there is a light which will blink in every 500 millisecond and here is also in the receiver section there is also a LED light which is attached with a relay so you hear the clicking sound and you will also see the result in the serial monitor the data it will receive print in the serial monitor. So now we will go outside and test the range of this LoRa communication. Now I am outside and I am with the transmitter. Here you can see the green LED is blinking in every 500 millisecond. And now I will go straight forward and test the range. Uh, my elder brother is in the workshop where the receiver is placed and we will be connected through call and in which point he will stop receiving the signal from this transmitter he will tell me and I will also stop at that point and will show you the distance and I also made a Android application for uh, measure the point to point distance so uh, one mobile is in the workshop which will act as a receiver uh, location and my mobile will act as a transmitter location so we will show you the uh, point to point distance between transmitter and receiver so now I will go forward and here you can see the green LED is blinking it means that it is sending the data so this is the mobile application test app I will open it and here you can see the point to point distance which is 100 meter now and we and I will show you the distance again at which point I will actually my brother will stop receiving the signal and I will show that point and say you the point to point distance still coming Minus hundred and seven. Yes, it is coming. Minus Minus hundred and eight. 
माइनस हंड्रेड एंड एट माइनस हंड्रेड एंड एट चेंज होले बोलो हम्म माइनस हंड्रेड एंड एट व्हाट इज़ द डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस माइनस हंड्रेड एंड ट्रांसमिटर सिग्नल सो आई ऑल्सो स्टॉप एट दिस पॉइंट एंड विल शो यू द डिस्टेंस इन द मोबाइल बिटवीन द ट्रांसमिटर एंड रिसीवर so that is near about 28 meters uh, from this is the last point from where we are getting the signal so in the urban area we will getting the maximum distance of 174 meter so i came back to the workshop and will show you the serial monitor again let's go and probably you can see the receiver antenna because in the night time you can probably cannot see it clearly so we are testing this thing in the night because we live in the urban area to avoid the traffic we are testing this in the night time and it is let me open my mobile okay it is 12:22 lora are 0 to module claims a maximum distance of 5 kilometers in line of sight but we got only a range of 180 meters which is very low because we are testing this modules in ground level and as we live in the urban area there is many walls and many trees in between the transmitter and the receiver so i am thinking to go in some place where we can place the transmitter and receiver in line of sight so we can achieve the maximum distance between transmitter and receiver but we will do that in a upcoming video stay tuned for that i hope you love the video if so then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends and technical community and comment down below your thoughts and if you have any query and uh, i am watching that you guys are watching my video but don't subscribing to my channel so if you are not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me you can buy me a coffee link is given in the description and the most important thing be creative